One thing you may have noticed is that Venue Magic uses the word group a lot. There are button groups, slider groups, and in the last video we mentioned routing groups. By far the most important group of this group of groups are channel groups. In fact, they are so important that any time Venue Magic mentions the word groups by itself, it is usually referring to channel groups. Channel groups let you combine multiple fixture channels into a single channel, giving you a special type of control. The uses for channel groups are endless, so in this video we're going to focus mostly on how to set up channel groups and leave a discussion of how and where to use them for future videos. To set up channel groups, go to Devices and select Groups. This is the Group Builder window. This section lists all existing channel groups. There are currently none, so let's add one. Give it a name, and hit the Enter key. Down here, we can select if this group will be controlled all in unison or as individual channels. I'm going to select Unison. This section here shows all available fixtures in the Fixtures folder of the Project window. We can go through this list and select which fixtures and or channels we want in the group. Select as many as you like. There is no limit. I'm going to select the entire four-channel dimmer to be in my group. Notice that the group list keeps track of how many channels are in each group. Now I'll create another group and add channels 1 and 2. As you can see, the same channels can be in multiple groups. This section also lists the groups you've created, but includes checkboxes because you can also add groups to groups. However, for some reason, I cannot seem to add either group to my selected group. In fact, you can see that they each have a red line through them, which is the universal sign for you can't do that. It's probably clear why I can't add my group to, because it wouldn't make sense to add a group to itself. But why can't I add my group 1 to my group 2? The answer is found in the great law of all channel groups, which states you cannot add the same channel to a group more than once. Since dimmer channels 1 and 2 are both in my group 1 and in my group 2, you cannot add my group 1 to my group 2. Now, if I remove channels 1 and 2 from my group 1, then I can add one group to the other. This can get confusing at times. Just remember this. A channel can only be added to the same group once, and Venue Magic will do all that it can to make sure that this rule is followed. End of story. For additional features of the group builder, I really suggest that you read the help for this one, especially the section on important uses for channel groups. There are also a number of other videos that discuss channel groups. For now, let's close the group builder and then see what these new groups have given us. First, we'll add a new control track and disable the first one. Then look over at the project window and notice that our two new groups have been added to the channel groups folder. Drag my group 1 and drop it into the new track. Then add a level control and double click to open the envelope editor. Recall that we put all four channels of the dimmer into my group 1, and then set it up as a unison group. This means that there is only one envelope in this level control clip, and it controls all the channels at once. Now hit play. And sure enough, all four lamps are controlled as if they were one. Now let's do something crazy. First, I'll disable this track and re-enable the first so we can see that our chaser is still working. Go back to the channel router screen now and add another route. For the input, choose the fifth slider we added in the last video. For the output, select My Group 1. For the merge mode, select Scale. 
Scale is a special type of merge that will make Slider 5 control this group and all of its channels, like a master level control. Now let's run the timeline and see what happens. Notice how the chaser plays as before, but moving the slider up and down controls the overall level while the timeline is playing. I think that's really cool. Once the power of channel groups really sinks in, you'll be able to do some pretty amazing stuff. From time to time, we'll put out new videos on other fun things you can do with groups. For now, see what you can come up with on your own.